Welcome back to Thrive America. We're here with uh, Alan Yurick, who's just taught us uh, how to create a stellar advisory board. And just a minute ago, we talked about uh, understanding your management strengths and weaknesses. And uh, no better uh, expert to talk about developing uh, a powerful business than Alan. He has a bird's eye view of, uh, of different businesses from his from his angle, which is uh, looking down. He's, he is a part of an angel investment community uh, where all day he, he kind of uh, critiques and observes different businesses. Uh, and these are some of the things that you look for, some of these principles Absolutely. that you look for that we're talking about today, uh, which makes this, uh, 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 this information so important in today's economy. Um, let's talk about your third point here, which is um, growing your business methodically. Um, uh, shed some light on what this what this could m means for you. In the six disciplines of uh, for excellence by Gary Harpst, H A R P S T, he talks about that eighty five percent of companies uh, do not succeed because they aren't grown methodically. Uh, what I mean by methodically is Monday morning nine thirty without fail the management team gets together and they talk about the business something like that. So hmm. weekly they get together and they talk about issues that affect the business. They've, there might be product meetings that come out of this, but that's a that's a different thing, and they don't do and they do that without fail. Uh, when companies don't do something like that, and something gets in the inner, gets in the way of that, what happens is that the companies forget to work on the business. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that I have when when I consult with clients is is that one of the things is is uh, at the very beginning I give them little cards. And then the cards say, whose job am I doing right now? You know, because hmm. you, the leaders need to delegate some of that down to different, um, uh, to different areas. So I think that a lot of people, a lot of leaders, uh, when they start with a one and two person business and then mm -hmm. they get to 15 and 20, they mm -hmm. don't delegate down to different things. So growing it methodically and when you're at about 10 people, start methodically delegating to different people. Mm -hmm. I was in a meeting once and I was a lead, um, I was a senior manager and there was two people under me and what happened was that uh, I, I said, why are three of us there? Either I didn't give the ability to delegate to the second person or he didn't give it to the third person. Mm -hmm. And what happened was that it was, I gave the ability to delegate to the second person. It wasn't my decision to make even though the guy worked for me, it wasn't my decision to make, it was his decision to make. But he did not give it to the third person. So I think that what you have to do is you have to understand to 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 delegate appropriately in that mm -hmm. situation. But also make sure that you understand, like, like in those meetings at 9.30 on Monday morning, you have to understand that you're going to be held committed to that. The president needs to commit uh, w when someone commits to doing something uh, within a week that that thing is done, you usually put it on a project management template or something like that and what happens is that they commit to do it and the next week, the first, this, the, the first week you do this, every, everyone commits, yeah, I'll have that done within a week but this, and the second week and when you come to the second meeting, it's not done but the president needs to say, Hey, why didn't you do it? You committed to it, mm -hmm. and you're holding us back. Mm -hmm. And that's how you grow a company methodically. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it could be as simple as setting a uh, a routine schedule, not necessarily saying um, any particular agenda, but just getting in the habit of of getting together on a weekly basis, and 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 yeah. it as a discipline. It's a discipline in talking about the operations mm -hmm. of the business mm -hmm. as opposed to the products. Hmm. You know, sometimes you t a product mean should be something separate. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is talking about the business in general, and so many people uh, don't talk about the business. They talk about the products. Mm -hmm. Get away from talking to the products, especially when you're moving from uh, the second to the third stage, mm -hmm. and when you're really beginning to scale up to. So, so yeah, I understand. Uh, I understand that. I believe that. Um, just the, the discipline of, uh, of growing a business and I mean I, I know that for my my company um, we don't do that right now and we need to start uh, I, I, I've gone through phases and I'm sure you've seen this too of being disciplined and then like you said getting distracted um, by something or another yeah 
You get, we all get distracted by mm -hmm. uh, human things, you know, mm -hmm. things like mm -hmm. that. But get get back to it and just mm -hmm. say, hey, we're going to have one. Mm -hmm. You know, whoever's there is there, mm -hmm. and certainly there's going to be some distractions. But mm -hmm. you know, um, hopefully the distractions won't be uh, that much, or change it to Monday afternoon or something like that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of what you're going to be doing for that week mm -hmm. for the business. Right, 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 right. All right, so I think we have uh, enough time here to go to another another point. Um, uh, another killer secret to <laughs> developing a, uh, a, a business. Um, you mentioned here, be very focused on what your business is and, and what it is not. Understand what is important to you and your business. Um, I don't think that's... Um, a, how is this different than understanding the management strengths and weaknesses? Well, management is just... When you, when you understand the management strengths and weaknesses, you understand the human aspect. Mm -hmm. Of it, when you understand what the business is about, what you're doing is understanding exactly that what the organization is about, and that gets into the values, uh, the vision, the, the vision and the mission of the business. If you are a healthcare information technology company, focus on that. For example, what, what we did was um, with a, with with growing a healthcare information technology company, we had a decision to make about '83, and what that decision was: Do we want to be an IT company, or we? Do we want to be a worldwide healthcare information technology company and focus on healthcare as healthcare information technology? And what we decided to do is to focus on healthcare information technology because if you look at a hospital and a hotel motel, they're they're very similar, you know, different names of mm -hmm. different areas within that. But what you want to do is you want to focus on the um, you want to focus on on what your really what your core competency is. Uh, there's a book out there um, and an article that, that certainly uh, that we can post called The Long Tail. Okay. And mm -hmm. what's happening is in The Long Tail is that we're getting into more niches. Mm -hmm. And as you get into more niches, what's going to happen is that you're going to go down and uh, be, be a little bit more defined on what your, your particular market opportunity is. And so focus on your market opportunity and that's what I'm suggesting with that, mm -hmm. is that you understand what your market opportunity is and don't get out of that. Mm -hmm. Now you might have a different product line or a different division of your company that goes into that later on, but not at the very beginning. Understand to be a world class whatever you are in that I, particular organization. I've got a question for you. Sure. Um, and I, I hope I can I hope I can phrase this. In this economy that we're in, um, it's challenging us to um, well I'll tell you what, let me hold that question. Um, okay. we'll we'll um, uh, we'll do a cliffhanger, and <laughs> we'll come right back. I like cliffhangers. With, yeah, uh, we'll be right back with that intriguing question that you have no idea what it is. <laughs>